Hi everybody, Jennifer Blevins Smith with Integral Clinic Solutions, and you're watching my YouTube channel, Navigating the Business of Medicine. Today I want to talk about providers working at different practices. Now when I say different practices, I don't mean all in the same business and just different locations. I'm talking about completely separate practice businesses, business practices. Like they work maybe for one owner here at one practice and a different owner here at a completely different practice. I've gotten some questions if they can do that, if providers can do that, and they absolutely can. You just have to make sure that their contracting is definitely divided and not getting uh, commingled or confused with one another. And that's basically just by making sure that you go through all the correct steps of adding that provider to your individual practices contract. So basically, if you picture like um, an umbrella, the big umbrella overhanging is the business. And then underneath it, if you will, the handle is all of the providers underneath that business name supporting that business. So you have to affiliate your providers under the business so that when you bill out on claims, you can they'll see that association between the MPI one number and the MPI two and tax ID number, and they go, oh yes, this provider is listed under this group contract, and we process it as in network. And then when they see patients at another practice, same idea, they're listed under that group's contract with a separate tax ID and separate MPI two number, and they cover it accordingly to their contract. So basically, as long as everything is correct and you can associate them on the claims and you bill out under a group type situation instead of an individual, then they will follow whatever group contract in which they're listed and billing out under. There are certain boxes on the HICFA form, but also in the ANSI file, which is the electronic equivalent of a HICFA, of a claim that lists individual providers' names in their MPI-1 or individual provider, but there's also like a billing facility location, and that's usually the name of the group and the group's MPI-2 and tax ID number on that claim as well. So that is all of the information that gets looked at at the insurance in order to process those claims accordingly. That's also why if a provider is not linked or put under a group contract, it will not process under that group and it might deny saying that that provider is not linked with the group or we cannot find that provider's information. It's really, really important that when you get providers who are gonna be billing under your group contract that you confirm with the payer that you've gone through all the processes necessary that the credentialing is done and the contract is done and that in their system they have correctly linked that provider to your contract. I hope this helps clear up some stuff. And like I said, even if let's say that provider wanted to have their own individual uh, business on the side and they decided that they weren't gonna do an LLC, maybe they were gonna do a sole proprietorship and they were just gonna bill out on claims under their own MPI one and their social security number, that also keeps it separate because the social security number acts as the tax ID number in this situation. And so they identify it as its own individual practice. And so that will keep it separate as well because it will associate by seeing that social security number with that individual MPI that they are billing under their own individual contract with the insurance. And then when they see the group's tax ID and MPI two with their individual information, it will say, oh, they rendered services at this practice and we need to cover it under this contract. I hope that helps. If you have any questions or comments, please leave that in the comments below. I'm trying to keep this as simple as possible and I know it can be a little confusing so don't ever hesitate to reach out to me if you have any questions about it. Thank you so much for the support you guys. 
Don't forget to smash that thumbs up button, please, and subscribe to my channel. It helps with the uh, YouTube algorithm, and I really appreciate it. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.